Now that Hurricane Matthew has come and gone, it has left a lot of damage in downtown Charleston. We're on Gibbs Street, which is a side street off the battery. You can see behind me. It, this is now an impassable road because of this massive tree that split from this house. Now, this is not just a split tree. It's split into two. And you can see the damage that it caused right here. Thankfully, the home is OK. Not only is this tree down, but there are power lines down all along this street, and that is very dangerous. We spoke to a few neighbors here. One of them told me that she has been through Hurricane Hugo, but it wasn't the damaging winds that uh, she said was the biggest problem. No, she said it was actually the storm surge. So your basement is flooded. Oh my gosh, up to the bottom of the window and you smell this. That's what my basement smells like. Black car in the garage is just totaled, flooded out, period. This is what we're talking about. These down cables, these down power lines. Emergency officials want us to remind you guys out there that these need to be treated as if they are alive. They're extremely dangerous. We also want to mention this tree that we talked about earlier, how it was split into two. Well, this is the second part it is completely covering the silver Volvo that was left during Hurricane Matthew. But the biggest thing as people begin to clean up and clean up their neighborhoods, their communities, their streets, to be careful of those power lines. They will clean those up for you. They will touch them. So leave those to emergency officials. In downtown Charleston, I'm Annie Taylor for News 2.